uh, the seminar is called uh, the Prosthetic Seminar, uh, Architecture Props, Cyborgs and Cybernetic Environments. And go on to have this kind of um, expression of self. As a study for the seminar, each student was investigating, reimagining, and redesigning specific body parts. We wanted to look at particularly our ears are um, always uh, directing the hearing forward. This is how our ears are designed. So Richard uh, and his group mates designed this uh, prototype that can actually rotate. If you can turn to the camera and demonstrate. Uh, so there is a larger amplifier that with your hands you can direct the sound. You can see that the cutout is for the area for the vision where you can clearly see it through. And the place where you can see the mirrors, they are placed in your peripheral vision area. So uh, this uh, prosthetic allows you to uh, view the spaces in more than what we normally see, which is 135 degrees. The spikes are touching particular parts of the body, more like an acupuncture, but it allows to create a buffer between the skin and the, uh, uh, the suit for the air circulation. Also, the girls were very interested in ability to see at night, so they developed, deployed this idea of light that allows other people to see you in the darkness, but also you to see in the darkness. They d developed a fan that transformed the breathing air, uh, the power of breathing, into uh, to, to allow the, for the fan to move and convert that into the electricity. The left hand is considered with uh, smaller extensions that still allow you to grab things that are, let's say, colder or hotter versus the right hand deploys much longer transistors that it's only um, uh, focusing on three fingers that also allow you to grab things that are a little bit farther and uh, beyond what your hands would usually grasp. They design uh, specific implants for different, different functions of uh, teeth like smoking a cigarette, whistling, uh, uh, nail biting. They were looking at uh, creating a pers personal space pod that basically you can close down and you can, uh, you, this way you're not bothered by the environment. So the student can read or you can uh, do any of your uh, functions and you're not being seen. The, one of the students, the group member is a skater, she loves skating and that's how she comes to work. But she was very bothered by the, all the obstacles that she finds on the way home or to school, such as curb or stairs. So this device allows you to actually climb stairs. Uh, these are places for the cameras to take footage and what you can see through it, the project really lives inside. Once you wear it, then you can experience the space. What the project does, it stitches the space together and you actually can see it through the uh, magnifying glass and your own phone, the three-dimensional space, which evokes again the vivid memories that you may have lost. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's have the